வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு அவர் கோர்ஸ் ஆன் எஸ்ஐபி ப்ரொடக்ஷன் பிளானிங் இன் தி செஷன் வி வில் டிஸ்கஸ் ஹவு டு ரிலீஸ் அண்ட் பிரிண்ட் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் ஆர்டர்ஸ் மேனுவலி அண்ட் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக் ரிலீஸ் ஆஃப் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் ஆர்டர்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ ஹவு டு ரிலீஸ் அண்ட் பிரிண்ட் தம் இண்டிவிஜுவலி அண்ட் கலெக்டிவ்லி வில் ஆல்சோ டிஸ்கஸ் வாட் ஆர் த ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸ் கேன் பி கேரிட் அவுட் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்கலி டூரிங் கிரியேஷன் அண்ட் ரிலீசிங் ஆஃப் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் ஆர்டர்ஸ் before going to the session let us look back what we discussed so far so we started with the basic concepts of production planning production types organization structure we talked about all the master data required for sap production planning and then we talked about demand related discussions like demand management mrp logic mrp run evaluation of uh, mrp results exception management outputs from mrp then we discussed in detail about planned orders and creation of production orders and various elements in the production orders now we are going to discuss releasing the production order when we create the production orders all the details required to execute the production order are captured in the the order details like uh, boim it is attached routing is attached all the controlling parameters all these things are attached but here only the details are attached to the order without releasing production order we cannot execute the production in the shop floor that is after releasing the production order only we can do some activities like printing the production order and withdraw the material from stores to issue the goods to the production orders and then entering the production details that is the production order confirmation details and then to receive the metal from the production that is the goods received from the production order so these things we can do only when we release the production orders with the production orders created status we cannot do this so releasing production order is very important and uh, what are the different ways to release the production orders production orders can be created manually or automatically when we release the production orders manually they can be released individually or they can be released collectively these are the two options and another option is while creating production order this can be released automatically that is also option but please pay attention here while automatic releasing production order helps to avoid additional steps of releasing the orders controlling some of the parameters will be missing that is in some organizations the time between creation of the orders and releasing the orders may be huge maybe few days so during that time while creating production order they need to check whether the materials are available resources are available those things they have to create only when these things are confirmed they can release the order otherwise they will not release if we ask the system to release the orders without checking this then control may be missing so automatic releasing of production order can be used when we have a very clear business process with the matured status of the business understanding so that time we can use this uh, automatic uh, releasing of the production orders so depending on the organization need maturity of the business process levels this can be triggered how to set this automatic creation of production orders from the creation of the production order during creation of production orders this is done in configuration at the production scheduling profile the t code used is okpkp or the menu path is given here the configuration menu path when we get this menu path what is highlighted here you can see in the automatic sections on creation we see the release uh, check box if we select this check box when the order is created order will be automatically released right now here in the system what i am using i will be releasing the orders when i need it and so i kept it without checking this box and when we do these settings now this is done for the plant 1702 and production scheduling profile yb001 so for the materials this production scheduling profile yb001 is attached then whatever the metal you are creating production order this will follow these rules right so these settings are carried to the metal master through this production scheduling profile and you know production order production scheduling profile is maintained in work scheduling view of metal master right so it is in the work scheduling view of the metal master 
now we will see how to release the production order individually so before seeing that when you are having the production order in created status you can see the status here it is showing as crtd right it's showing this as a crtd to release the production order we can do it using the transaction co02 or we can do it from md04 also right in the md04 we can see the production order select the production order again when you click on the change button that now after selecting it it will bring it to the same page either you do with the co02 or from md04 select the order and go to the change method that also we can do it once you have this uh, co02 enter the production order number we are in the production order page now press this flag the release flag right so when i press the after pressing the release flag system is popping up a page like this this means it is showing there are some missing parts right so it is giving three options one is that release the order or check the missing part list or cancel it these are the options so the planner who is going to release the order he has to decide whether he is going to release the production order or he is not going to release it right that is what is going to be done so if you want to release it then press release order and proceed if not the missing part list you click it see which are all the missing parts then you can come out or click the cancel and come out right for our discussion purpose we are going to release order but at the same time the best practice is we have to release the orders without any missing parts that is full kit order has to be released this will give lot of benefits to the processes especially for planning and the shop floor and bringing this practice into the system is very difficult it's very difficult but at the same time once you bring this discipline that will give lot of benefits here that is a big suggestion which i am giving to all the listeners here once we done that releasing see the status is changed from crtd to release and then press the save button the order is saved and it is released now now the order is released manually individually right now we'll see how to release orders collectively so to release the orders collectively there are two steps here one is that using the transaction co05n collective release or cohv mass processing the menu path is also shown here now we discuss how to do it in co05n collective release after entering the transaction this is the selection parameter page see here how many options are there we can select the orders to be released based on various parameters like production order material what is the plant order type mrp controller production scheduler system status work center plant many things are there at operation level at a component level at the header level right different options are there right with these options we can select and then execute we have to execute this page now i selected only the plant and the status as crtd now i am executing this order when i am executing it there are many production orders are getting listed here where we selected only two production orders to release so i selected two and then we will open that mass processing icon see on the above these orders now there is a mass processing icon we click on it we are getting the mass processing icon in this mass processing icon we can see the options like execute settings log of uh, uh, mass processing release you see the release is automatically selected there now execute the transaction or you can press f8 now during the mass processing also whatever the orders we selected for those things if there is any missing part system is showing missing parts are there again as we discussed planner may decide whether to release the order with the missing parts or he has to uh, he, he will not release order now he will release it later like that he can check it right again please note that the best practice what we discussed okay so now we are continuing to release the order so now after releasing the order now what we executed here we see that list is now getting updated here see the status is showing still crtd crtd here because now the page is not refreshed so it is showing like this now we want to see the log how to see that now for that go to the mass processing the log for last uh, mass process mp is mass processing click on it now we are seeing these two orders right it is showing that the two selected orders we set now 960 and 961 the order is as a missing parts this order uh, now is released with missing parts it is released all the status are here so with this we release the orders collectively 
this is how we can do the orders collectively now we saw that how to manually release order individually and then how to manually release orders collectively these two we discussed now next another option is how to release orders through another transaction of called cohv mass processing cohv is a transaction where we can do many functions so one of the function is releasing the order now by entering this transaction cohv again we are getting the similar you know, the selection parameters header level operation level component level there are many parameters are there select the required parameters and then press the mass processing tab In the mass processing tab the first line now the function there you select the 130 release when you select and enter it system will show the page like this all this now the execute function processing mode also bottom you can see function parameters release control order which is a one control release which means that all the releasing functions I mean the releasing function is selected for this it's all coming from the the selection what we did function now function 130 release now execute the order so now we are getting all the again list of the orders select the orders right I mean here we selected two orders with these things open the mass processing icon process it and then execute the transaction right so we execute the transaction again this mass processing we are getting the missing part list again i am repeating this so during missing part a planner can decide whether to release or not again the best practice is to release orders only with the full materials without any missing parts you have to release it with the missing parts it is better to avoid releasing any order now we release orders in different ways one is the manual orders and then we discuss the collective releasing through the two transactions now we are checking that uh, uh, sorry now we are seeing this co 0 fine collective release how the execution list will appear right again we are seeing the status that uh, release orders missing parts and other details so releasing the orders is completed now now we'll discuss how to print the production orders now we're talking about going to print the production orders production orders can be printed individually or collectively first we'll discuss how to print them individually so again we'll use the transaction 002 again we use the co02 or in md04 we can select the order and change it so we will select the co02 or through md04 select it and change it system will bring to the change page right there go to the functions menu there is a print now control print is there so either select the print or put the control p system will give the printing printing means it will show that here we will see how the layout will be there in the print see the production order will be printed this is the system no this is ids ids system so the here we are seeing the sample right so these are the details now you see here various details are the metal code and what is the metal uh, description and what is the uh, finished good where is it moving who is the production supervisor many details are available what is the date what are all the different components to be used what are the operations to be used many details are available here okay in these settings so this can this will be printed in this uh, format what is shown here if needed software documents can be converted into pdf also and for all these settings of getting the printer or converting into pdf you may take the support of base system and also if you want you can change the layout of the production orders also right you can change the layout of the production orders also it can be done through the your support from the abap consultants right this is how you do the individual production order print next we'll do this collectively print the production orders how to do collective pr the printing of production orders this will be can be done through co04n collective uh, collective printing or cohv mass processing these are the two options we can do it is not collective release it is collective print co04n now co04n collective print again we are getting the similar page but here only thing is the mass processing selected as a printing we have many parameters to select at the header level operation level component level now execute it further steps are similar to that cv05 and release what we did similar thing output will be the printing of the software documents next method is cohv mass processing i discussed earlier cohv can do multiple functions earlier we did releasing now we are going to do the printing again we select all the processes all the transactions i mean all the parameters go to the mass processing here you select 140 printing of shop floor in the function uh, field right 140 printing of shop floor papers you select it now 
we are uh, seeing all the details which are appearing execute it we'll get the the production orders will be printed now when we take the first time print that original print it will be there if we want to take second time we have to select this reprint please take note of it many people know they will missing it first time when they print it second time when they want to take the print out without changing this original print to reprint they will try to print again and again the print will not come main point is we have to change it to the reprint then only the print will come this has to this is very important again further steps are similar to releasing the order we will get the list of the orders select them execute them the orders will be printed now we will see what are the functions which can be executed automatically during creation and release as we discussed earlier these are set in the opkp that uh, transaction during creation right we can also uh, facilitate the system to release the order automatically or to link all the documents related to materials or to link all the documents related to bua if we don't do these settings right we have to do this is manually right at the same time if you are doing it uh, set this in the system automatically every time it will get automated automatically link so what is the thing we need accordingly you have to select and do it what is the most uh, frequently used method that one you have to follow similarly on releasing the orders releasing the orders also during release i want to do the printing automatically or i want to do the scheduling automatically again linking the documents linking the control documents these things we can uh, uh, we can trigger them automatic uh, functions in that settings that opkp what we discuss okay these are various functions so in this uh, session we discuss releasing the production orders right now manually like uh, how to do individually and collectively and also we discuss about how to print the production orders how to do them individually and collectively what are all the functions automatic functions during the creation and release we discussed so in the next session we will be discussing how to do the goods issue to production orders how to carry out confirmation of production orders and how to do the goods receipt from the production orders please give your feedback to improve the flow and contents of our sessions thank you all see you in the next session bye